I grew up in a few places, but my earliest memories are on the coast in Montego Bay, Jamaica. Um, we lived across the street from the ocean. And when I was 10, we immigrated to this country. I was a curious child to the annoyance of my parents. I was always asking why. Why was the sky blue? Why this? Why that? All day long. From the moment I learned to talk, I was asking why. So at the University of Pennsylvania, it was one of the, it was the second school in the country to offer biomedical engineering. So it's a very new, nascent um, area of study. So I was really, really thrilled when I found that um, as a potential um, place to major. And because it was new, they had us minor in another science, and I chose material science. Few qualities that, that are really important to her success, I think. Uh, one is that she just really deeply, deeply knows materials, has a very practical knowledge of how they work together. She is an expert in that field with uh, subject matter expertise that, uh, you know, she could write book after book after book on this uh, area. Um, but at the same time, combined with that depth of knowledge, which is very impressive, she's a lifelong learner. She's never done learning. She's always willing to learn something new and to experiment. So she has that practical knowledge from the experimentation, and she's always trying new things and seeing what is in the realm of the possible. The product I want to talk about was not patented. It's called the Rain Sheet CSI, and um, CSI um, might might mean cool stuff, but um, it's really a catheter intro in, um, introducer. Introducing this product into the patient's vein, it can kink. So the invention is um, a kink recovery technique. So if it does kink, it recovers and you can continue with the procedure. So that's one of the um, inventions of mine that I'm really proud of. One thing that Dr. Davis and her team have really done is develop these radial access materials so that we can transmit the force, we can, we can, we can do all of these necessary operational activities uh, over a, a full two meter length. And that again is translated to a much improved outcome for the patients and, um, uh, and also uh, been beneficial for the doctors because they can actually do these procedures faster and uh, have uh, treated a, a higher number of patients in a day. So it's been a win-win for, for everybody. And that would have really been impossible without the contributions of Dr. Davis. What I've learned is flexibility is key and adaptability. The most used and versatile polymers are the most flexible. It's not the strongest. That's the biggest lesson I've taken, that polymers, our DNA will adapt and move forward for survival, and we should be able to adapt to social situations, to life situations, to better um, survive. In 2018, I survived a 26-day coma with liver, lung, and kidney failure. The doctors gave me a 1% chance of survival. So once I was well enough, um, I felt this survivor's guilt. Um, why was I here? What's my purpose? Am I living to my purpose? And out of that came this desire to, to write, to publish, to express, encourage, to speak to the younger generation and hopefully I can leave something behind that speak to the next generation and the next. So my writing and writing to a generation that's still feeling um, wonder and open came out of that whole ordeal.